everyone, welcome back to another brand new episode of the final of the fantasy of the eight of the of the and, squall. And we have more story here, but like in this game, story means something. Okay? Yeah, we're not oh, taking yeah. fucking fishing trips. Yeah, <laughs> together. No, no. I, I know we're in kind of like a big story mode here thing, but it's just it's necessary. It's much like you said, much better. I just remember when I was a boy, and I would play this, and like my my mom would would like come in for something, and she would just watch me play a little bit she's like why do you like this game you're just reading I said right now i'm just reading it's a story point it's not like this all the time she just didn't understand I'm just sitting here reading dialogue little boxes another little piece of trivia here i'm finding that's i i, I like reading these little little things when it comes to a game because i'm always interested but zell shares many of the same moves as tifa lockhart from final fantasy 7 such as dolphin blow punch rush Meteor Strike and uh, her ultimate limit final heaven. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Too bad y'all never really get to see that. Because we um, don't, don't use Zell a lot. During Edna's... We, this is something that just happened here recently. During Edna's parade in D. Ling City, there are a bunch of masked dancers. If you look closely, they're performing the dance from Michael Jackson's Thriller. Really? Yeah. I did not notice that at all. And even crazier is apparently there's also a thriller music video with the Final Fantasy Spirits Within cast. What? <laughs> so I guess when you watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within, the cast does a thriller music video. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> First yeah, of all, that movie's I'm, stupid. I've never seen that, that movie. That movie sucks. Yeah, it's not it's even terrible. like... It's nothing like Final Fantasy at all. <laughs> no. You're not even using magic or fighting anybody. It's something to do with the space and weird things. Yeah. It sucks. It shouldn't have had the Final Fantasy name attached to that. What do we do? Just get tortured? <laughs> he can't. He just. He stands up and he sits down. And he stands and up and he sits down. And the whole time, this fire tiger's just sitting just there. Just sitting there. Yeah. So he's like, we could wear him as a disguise. We could skin him and wear him. Fujin and Ranjin were originally supposed to be in Final Fantasy VII. However, with the Turks, they were deemed unnecessary and were saved for Final Fantasy VIII. That's true. You didn't need another little group of people in Seven. In the Japanese version of Final Fantasy VIII, Zell, Zell does not have an obsession with hot dogs, but flavored bread instead. Um, <laughs> what? I guess Zell is has an obsession with hot dogs in this game. Why do they feel the you need to change the And in the, the Japanese bread? game, it was flavored bread. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it either. These just weird trivia facts I'm finding. It's just interesting. He likes bread, like butter bread, like no, what? <laughs> what? No, like garlic like... bread. <laughs> he likes garlic bread. <laughs> no, like um, huh. garlic bread. Um, in Japan they have a lot of different flavored breads. Italian bread. No, like we're talking like green tea and uh, <laughs> a bean bun and all kinds of different. Here we're gonna J Japanese <laughs> flavored. Bread. Yeah. Melon pan. Is melon bread. Melon, you know what I mean? Like, they, they have all bread. kinds of stuff. What the fuck? Goddamn bitch. Goddamn bitch. Pineapple bread. Milk bread. They've got all kinds of bread in Japan. Damn. No, not you. Goddamn it. <laughs> Who has the junctions? I don't know. Fucking what? Fucking Irving does. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Back attack! Get him! Whatever the fuck that thing is. It's a weird robot guy. He's got two things we can draw from him, though. That's cool. Six hastes. Good. Draw the other thing from him so you can figure out what that is. And we got... Slows! Haste and slows. This thing is pretty strong, so I'm just gonna cast... Haste? Quits. <laughs> Quetzalcoatl on him to kill uh, him. He's a machine. I think the lightning should. I thought maybe him. if you hasted yourself, it'd be if I hasted my 
fucking self. Yeah. That bastard. Isn't haste a good thing? Haste is a good thing. Is there anything on 4-7? You're not gonna no do barricade. Uh... I wanna see what the hell was on floor seven, okay? Okay. I wanted to see. I think we gotta go to floor eight to get Nothing our weapons. on floor seven. There's no barricade. Yeah, no barricade. Well that's important. Like, it's a barricade that if it wasn't there, we'd have to go all the way around in a circle because we don't know oh. how to jump over things, I guess. Yeah. No, it's fucking silly. I have that It's one of them video though, game so. things that don't make any sense. Yeah. But uh, it's just how it is, I guess. You're like the Giles of our team. Just looking things up, researching. Yeah. Brock's like the Xander of our team. He's, he talks a lot, and that's about it. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, aside from just the, th like, there's only three Guardian Forces that are given automatically and all the others are optional. You could play the whole game. Yeah, you could miss them. Yeah. As a kid, I'd miss some. I was pissed. Of course, you know, it could be like seven where you could miss two characters. That would suck. So, here's something interesting. Unlike other RPGs and unlike Final Fantasy itself, each character only requires 1,000 experience points to advance to the next Every, level. I, I wow. mentioned that at some point. Yeah. Said that. That's weird, huh? Yeah, that is really weird. God damn yeah. it. Enemies and bosses have no set level, although bosses have level caps. They increase in hit points, statistics, and abilities alongside the player party. Higher level enemies are capable of inflicting the standing significantly more damage and have additional special attacks. They have better draws and stuff. Yeah, too. they also possess better magic to draw and items to steal as their level rises. The benefit of this system is no matter what the player is in the storyline, there is a level of difficulty. Dude, this guy has taken three Quetzalcoatls and he's still up. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? This guy should be a boss. Wow, that sucks as all sucking can be. What? There's two locations called Island Closest to Heaven and Island Closest to Hell, where all creatures are level 100, regardless of character. I gotta go there for something. I don't remember. I gotta fight Marlboros there, I think. Because Doom Train mm -hmm. requires a couple items, and one of them is a Marlboro tentacle yeah. thing. Yeah. So I had to go search them out, and I think they're on one of them islands pretty pretty plentiful. Hmm. Got four screws. Four screws. So I know we started with Final Fantasy VII and now we're moving on to eight and at some point we'll probably do nine here. But why did we skip six? I, I wanted to start with seven. You just wanted to start with seven. I'll go back and do six. I just thought, thought it's it, it was going to be our first game ever. Mm -hmm. Might as well do the Might one that's well your favorite. Do, yeah. I don't know if seven. I don't know if seven. I don't know if I actually have a legit favorite. Hmm. Seven, eight, nine. Seven and nine between the two. I'll have to replay nine again and see how much I love yeah. it. But like, so do you need to know some floor information here, or you just kind of got in there? First of all, I need to get our weapons. Hmm. That's what's what floor are the weapons on? Right now we're on eight. Then I gotta go back down to seven. Then I go back down to six, and then I travel all, all the way down to get one. Your weapons back. Okay. Yes, which is why I'm here alone because they don't know how to fight without anything right but yeah six is really good it's just like i don't know hmm. a lot of people love seven onwards and seven's a classic game and i knew it better than uh you know what i mean than six would be yeah so i wanted to do seven eight nine ten after 10, I'm, I'm thinking about just backtracking and doing 6 instead mm -hmm. of doing... I, I, trust me, I'm not looking forward to doing 12 and 13. Not at 12, all. 12, it takes forever. 12 is going to be so time what, what do you consuming. Think after, like, so what, you think we're going to do like, um, like 9, 10, and then start going back to more of the original ones? Yeah, I think maybe I might want to do that. Or at least backtrack and do six. Yeah. At least, because six is really good. It's the best one out of the older ones. And then maybe think about... Are you ever going to do, like, one? Twelve or two? Yeah, oh, yeah. I want to do them. 
We can, I want to do this until we're, we're old and we can, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll do. I want to do them all eventually. Yeah. It's just, am I in a hurry to do twelve and fucking? But then I think to myself, maybe I want to do twelve and thirteen because then by that time, fifteen, 15 will be out, mm. and then I do fucking do do, do goddamn dumbass thirteen. <laughs> I I don't know. I got time to think about it because, like yeah. I said, I have a system, guys. I have a system. You know, I play Final Fantasy. And I pick three more games. Pick another Final Fantasy. And, it's gonna be a while. Yeah. Nine and ten will come first, which are awesome games. They're both amazing. We're gonna have a lot of fun with them. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Laguna, Laguna. That's what they're saying. Why are they saying that to Why me? Why are there so I many of those know. fucking things too? Is just beyond me. Laguna. Yes. Okay. Laguna, Laguna. <laughs> Laguna's not here. How does he know that they're saying that? Because they're just literally squeaking. Huh. And the first Charlie's Angels movie. Jesus in the scene where, Di- where Dylan approaches a house for clothes, there are two kids inside vigorously button mashing and moving while playing Final Fantasy VIII. Infamously for fans, both kids hold controllers despite the fact that the game has no two-player mode. Ah. And there's no sequences in which such button mashing would be required, except maybe for using the boost mode for summons. But apparently in Final and in Charlie's Angels they're playing Final Fantasy VIII on the TV. I, cool. I never realized that. Yeah. Not that I've ever seen Charlie's Angels. I have I have it on VHS somewhere. But uh guys, next time we're gonna continue. Okay. This fucking game. Yeah. It's gonna be really interesting. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>